In this video, we play two of Germany's most destructive premium vehicles, including the mighty Jagdpanther and my favourite cast plane in the game, the Dornier 335B2. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It's almost sale time in War Thunder and I thought I would return to my roots being a German main in one of the first lineups I ever played for Germany. This is the Jagdpanther and the Do 335B2 combination. Now for long term viewers of the channel, back in the days when I just used to do live streams on Twitch, I used this thing an awful lot. Yes, a lot, a lot. <laughs> this thing is one of the most incredible cast aircrafts in War Thunder. Just look at this stack card. As well as the Jagdpanther down here. Bear in mind, my first 80 games in this thing, I wasn't very good at the game, but now I've picked that up after a wee while. We've recovered that to a 2KD. Back in the day, the Jagdpanther used to be 6.3. There is a Tech Tree version of this as well that doesn't get the premium bonuses. If you can't afford premiums, then obviously go for that. But for this thing, it's very good if you're kind of stuck in the grind with Germany. The cannon is absolutely fantastic. It has, what, 240 millimeters of penetration, pretty much, and 100 grams of TNT equivalent. There's really nothing at 6.0 and up to 7.7 other IS-6 that can shrug this round off. The tank is fast. It's extremely well armored due to its slope and front plane. And of course the sides are paper, just as with all German vehicles, or any vehicles for that matter. But for holding a choke, or sniping things at long range, there's really nothing better. I absolutely love this tank, I really liked using it today. And of course, for our cast plane, it's my favourite plane in the game. Three 30mm cannons with 77mm of penetration each. You even get two 20mm as well for dealing with aircraft, open tops, and you have two bomb drops as well. Ideally, you want to be taking this load out here, two 250s and one 500 in the belly. Feel it is a little bit unwieldy to fly, but once you learn its characteristics and how to fly it, you're really a menace in the sky. You're extremely fast. Actually, I think the fastest prop plane in the game, bar the F2G, it, this thing is superb. It actually turns really well if you know what you're doing and nothing will survive you in a head-on. And I really mean nothing. Now I played two games with this combination of vehicles today and that's all I'm really going to show. Completely unedited footage and just how to play these to their best of their abilities and try and help your team as best you can. The first game was a little bit of a, a dud for teammates let's say, but the second one just turned to an absolute stomp. Hope you guys enjoy this video where we get a lot of kills. Right, we're on Rhine. I'm going to do something I don't normally do, and I'm going to push 10 line, which is now 7 line. I think we got the armor to kind of shrug off most things. Is this a down tier? I think it actually might be, which means our only real threat is Bulldogs and M61s. I don't want to really be on my own, but it looks like we are. Someone's capping C already. This is going to be a difficult map to navigate, so that's the reason why I've chose to take a long route rather than have to brawl in an area. I'm just going to sit up here for a little while. No one really comes this way anymore, I don't think. But with any luck, they'll push B, and then we can try to do something silly. I'm annoyed this artillery is landing here. Always makes me weary. Someone is coming. A jumbo and uh no idea what the thing is. T-34-85. Jumbo can't do much to us. Oh, he's just shot my gunner out. Not a big deal. Oh, it's a PT-76. And our gunner's back. Okay, I non penned him, but he's gonna pen me back. Definitely gonna shoot my gunner out again. If I'm slightly angled, he doesn't seem to be able to do much to me. I missed him again. This guy might actually kill me, which is super annoying. I'm setting him up for a good shot on me. Shoot me. Thank you. Superior angling. Right, I'm... Um, my loader is still intact. There's definitely a guy to my right somewhere. And I've finally got a teammate coming up with me. Got this smoke. I'm gonna keep running past here. I think I hear someone. Oh, 
will certainly do you someone that's not good he what did he hit me oh he hit me in a really bad spot okay i don't need to repair but we're, we're dwindling crew <laughs> we're dwindling crew a little bit at least i still have a loader that's the main thing and my teammates are actually pushing up The thick boy is coming. Right, I got just my loader on the right hand side, so actually peeking from this side is not a terrible idea anymore. I can certainly hear someone, but it might just be the friendlies. Wait, there's nobody there. Oh, a plane. Yeah, I, I attract his attention, dude. Okay, that was weird. There was like a tracer that flew across my screen. Right, the enemy's just capped A and... I might get shot from the left here, but I just want to keep pushing up to help my team on this side. That's friendly. And I know there's an enemy in here because I've seen him scouted. I wonder if I could just run up on him. What is he in between this building? Yeah, it's a oh, there's a BTR here. Okay, this is bad. He's gonna shoot my barrel in now. Or pen me. Okay, his gunner's out, but I'm double tracked. Okay, my barrel is completely gone. Oh, he burned to death. I tried to unrepair there for a second, but then realised it was a stupid idea because both my tracks are out. Ah, uh, okay. Good old T-34 driver hatch moment right there. A long 88 and it did absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta watch out for that, I suppose. Volumetric and stuff. I was watching uh, BPA John do the tournament <laughs> yesterday and uh, non pen the side of a Panther A three times in a row. Esports ready. Those poor tournament players, they're like, uh, every time we watch a tournament, always something gaijin happens. Every single match. And not just once, multiple times. I'm not going to bother with that guy. We'll try and get this dude off a of C, I think. There's two. Oh, and an enemy plane. Did he just pancake? No, he didn't. This is a problem. Not anymore. Bombay doors are opening. And we've got two T-34s down here. This guy's going to go through this gap. No, he stopped. That's my big bomb, though. It should be all right. Yes, sir. Is my Oswin 2 shooting this plane? Yeah, he is, and he got him too. That is very good news. Okay, that's friendly. Give me a fright. Oh, there's an M16 shooting at me now. And here comes another aircraft. I'm just skirting around this anti-air. Hopefully my door's gonna deal with it. There's another guy on sea. He needs to be stopped. It's an M61, I can actually pen him from the front. And here comes one plane, which we're going to just avoid. Keep our speed, then we're going to go for this guy. Who I don't think has seen me. Absolutely has not seen me. That last second dodge did. Uh, game? Watching my tracers go right through that thing was quite frustrating. Right. We should be pulling off some sort of one shortly. I would really hope. Oh no, here comes the split aircraft again. Right, okay. Dodged it. 
BTR hier. Empty all barrels. <laughs> right, I, I think that BTR might die. The one that I strafed. I would hope so. Uh, and I think I might go for another door. Let's do it. Oh no, another aircraft. Twin engine. Is that the Death Star? I think it is the Death Star. Twin Mustang. And my team is still attacking that thing down there. This BTR is 100% still alive, is he? Yeah, and a truck here too. I don't know how you're still alive, but he is. Where is the Death Star at? He's back here. I kinda need to get rid of these bombs, ideally. I didn't want to waste them on that little guy. But I might have to. That guy is looking for me, I think. Oh my god. Took so many shots. Okay. He's on fire, or one side of him is. His engine's completely out. Right, someone was firing at me from down here. I'm gonna keep turning around. And I also saw my teammates shooting somebody this direction, so... We're gonna take a swing past... Oh yeah, I see him. Protected. Not protected. And I missed him with the bombs. Oh, it's a jumbo. I didn't miss him with the bombs. Oh god. That's an issue. That's a that's a game ender, this P8. I think I've got enough speed to catch him, but he might snipe me. Or this guy might snipe me. That's a teammate shooting. Please on boss. There we go. Okay. This guy might shoot me down in a spin. But at least they won't blow my entire team up. Come on, Dornier. What's on the sea cap? And what was that firing at me? Oh, this is open top. He's still got his bomb off. Oh my god, the lag. Right, he's not had a problem. Oh, he actually bombed a teammate trying to get to the, the B cap. <laughs> I just noticed that. Right. Um, that guy jade out. There's so much destruction over this side. There's still an SPA over here. It's just two teammates left, right? No, we got some coming. Okay, someone's on A. I might need to bomb this guy. So, bomb bay door's getting opened. Oh, there's two of them. You wait there. Oh. That guy was missing crew, and I've done nothing to the Sherman underneath me. I wasted my bombs. It was a tactical mistake. Oh, uh, and there's, now there's two here. Oh, the M60 is absolutely annihilating me right now. It's two jumbos. Right, they're, they're both in a bad way. I can take a Yag Panther maybe, and see if we can do something here. But they're on B2, and that's terrible. This is not good. Always at the mercy of what teammates you have, really. On 17 kills? Like, none of this is my fault. <laughs> I think this D34 is probably on my right now, is he? Yes, he is. Right, the two Shermans are fixing each other. I don't hear anyone else on the right side. And there's someone right in front of me here too. Two someones. 
hide my barrel here for a second, now I'm getting strafed. He tried it. I'm just gonna have to push him. I know it's a really stupid idea, but I'm gonna get flanked and he's not gonna peek me again. And we're losing anyway. I'm gonna have so much silver lines, dude. Like an absolutely ridiculous amount. I'll ricochet them anyway. <laughs> and an IS1 kill me. GG. We actually did get good SL. We even got final blow too. Right, dude. Oh, this is a really rare map. We got a tiny Mozdog. This game won't last very long, generally. I forgot why no one likes playing this and then I spawned here and remembered that you can't get out of spawn if someone pushes it because you have to drive up the steepest hill in the universe. This must be like a one in a thousand chance to get this map. Who are we facing, by the way? Russia, China, Israel. Oh, it's an SU-100. We are going to die if I don't kill this guy. Okay, you get out. Holy moly. Oh, there's an SU-85 here as well. An M. May have to try and bino him. Oh, he's gone. He's disappeared. Oh, my teammates are getting shot from up here now, probably by an M18. I want to move to the safety of this cliffside on my left. So I can't really get shot from far away, at least. Right, I see the SU-85M. That thing can actually kill me. Depending on his ammunition. Oh my goodness. We're so wobbly. What's ATGM in? Zaklam Tiger, maybe? It was! It was. Good lad. Right, um... So far, so good. Enemy out this way that I can't see. I've seen that guy shoot, though. I'm gonna back us up a little bit. Alright, my enemy's... My teammate's dealing with the enemy behind me, is what I meant to say. I don't think my teammates are doing so good on that side. And I can't really help either because I have no idea where they are. The Zaklum's dead to the beacon. Is that an enemy up there? I can kind of see him third person. No one's got this cap yet. But we're definitely winning on tickets just from kills alone. Where are these guys? Right, no one's coming back up here though, right? Oh, that's unfortunate. I did clip his engine deck, but it, the explosion went into the rest of his crew. At the front. Okay, I think that's Bulldog versus Bulldog up there. Where the heck is this guy? Did I start chopping down trees? A plane. I've, I've been pushed by an M18. Okay. No one's appeared back up here yet either. I wonder if I get further up the hill can I see these guys? I don't think so. I'll keep backing it up, so we can get higher and higher. Not that high though. Oh yeah, okay. I can see where the shots are coming from now, but I don't actually see him. My teammate up top does. Big rocket out. My panther A is on it, dude. Right, can I see these dudes now? Oh, they're right behind that. 
Oh my god. Wait, my panther's getting the cab now, I think. Oh hey, there's the guy I shot at before and didn't die. Didn't survive that time though. Right, this, this bulldog up here has given me a bit of confidence to peek over this ridge. This is where I die now because I'm getting too cocky. There's not very many enemies left though. At least we get a game where the Do 335 isn't the main vehicle. Oh, there's two here. There's some sort of IS thing there as well. Okay, good. Oh well, it was nice knowing you. Do 335 it is then. <laughs> Zo C five it is then then. You 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 called it though. I didn't want it to be like this. There's three planes. I see an anti air. Oh rest in peace anti air. That guy's going back to rear or something maybe? Or is he just getting speed? He's just getting speed. The other guys are diving. It's a Spitfire, a P sixty three and something else. And I think I'm fairly safe up here. For the time being. As long as I keep my energy. This guy is... Circle climbing though. I'm scared of the... Spitfire for sure. That's a Yak 3P. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's exactly what it is. Right. Back up we go. That uh, P63, I need to get rid of him. And I've got a J21 coming in too. Incredibly helpful actually. Where is the Spitfire? He's climbing for me, I don't see him. Okay, my teammate got the Spitfire. Good. He's firing his missiles. Okay, P-63 is after me. Are you any good at sniping, Chief? Because you're going to have to be. Here comes the J-21. I'm giving you the perfect bait, Chief. He's all yours. Oh no, the J-21 is not helping me. <laughs> That's not good. As you can tell, we're not a good dogfighter like this. And I was really hoping this guy would have came to help me, but it looks like he is not. Okay. J21, it was very close, dude. You almost, you almost let me down. Right, we're good. Did you get the guy on the hill? No, you didn't get the guy on the hill. He's underneath me. Oh, he's... a poor unfortunate soul. And that's why you were going after him, right? You knew that. I'm gonna hang on to this bomb still. We're a, we're a big bit damaged. Our rear engine is not in a good condition. I'm not gonna hang on to the bomb. I'm just going to give him that. And we'll come back around for the other guy. I just saw respawning in again. Oh no, I still got blew him up. There's three left. We're actually like, not far away from the enemy being able to clutch us back. Oh, there's a pack puma there. I've got plenty of 30 mils left. Enough to shadow realm this guy. Or I guess not. Whoa! I forgot my rear engine's dead. <laughs> I forgot my rear engine was out, dude. Well, I uh, I don't think we'll need to respawn back into this game. There's an IS-2 left. That 
M51 who's in not the best condition I've ever seen in my life. He's now dead. Um, and that leaves only two left. Let's just wait till we see our stat guard. We weren't really far off what we earned on the rain game. But there you go. Pretty good combo. This is such a good combination of vehicles and what you can do is you can bolster it with 5-7 German vehicles just because they're quite under tiered such as the Panther A. You've also got the Panther F there as well that's got a rangefinder on it. You've got the Tiger E and you've even got some other premium stuff like the Porsche Tiger which I used extensively. And for planes you can use the F4. A lot of people won't think it's worth putting a 6.0 on a 5.7 lineup just because it drags you up that little bit higher, but for me it really is. You might face the odd IS-6 or IS-3, but the likelihood of that is pretty much zero. I rarely see Yag Panthers now, but when you do they're an absolute menace, so make sure you get your hands on one, whether it's a Tech Tree one or this guy here, definitely give it a shot if you haven't done so already. Anyway, that's me done for today, I'm off to play some D&D with the guys, and I'm gonna go have some fun outside of War Thunder, but thank you guys very much for watching today. Make sure you hit the like button on the video, it helps the channel out massively, it helps me out personally, so please do so. If not, even just to make me feel good. As always, a massive thanks to everyone who supports me over on Discord and Patreon. For everyone on Discord, there's Tier 3, that's Miss Lita, Shadow Wolf, Toast McGee, Deep Bacchus, Sexy White Wolf, Audible Bow, Bofe Destari, Fearless Frightening French Fish, Fearless Germ, Mushy Boy, Pac Ma Puma, Rusty Stoyan, Train Toilet and Zig. And to everyone over on Patreon, that's Sickness Win, Matthew S, Paul Wendricks, The Tackle Guy, FTM Watermelon, Shane McGuire, Shane McGuire, <laughs> Ahenius Understorm Win, Brandon aka The Flying Pick Pickle, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Handsome Tatia, King the Sword Lord, Love of Weasels, Ralph, Rage, Tectonic, Tanks Gone Wild, The Anomaly, Vanian, Warpig, Shaft, Mortan and Stoyan, J Tormy, David, Pyrophoric, and the one, the only, Rosaline. And to everyone else still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love, and bye bye